welcome back to our channel Spec English Course and Club And with our special program, English is Easy And today, we are still have the part 2 structure and written expressions And we are going to focus on the verb How to recognize a verb In the last video, we have already learned how to recognize a subject Why do we have to know the subject and the verb of a sentence? Because the subject and the verb of a sentence are the main components of a sentence Okay? Alright Now, what is the characteristic of a verb or a predicate of a sentence? First, that is be or to be at any tenses In a present tense, for example, we have am, is, are In the past tense, we have was, were And then in the present perfect, we have has been, have been In the past perfect, you have have been And then in the future, we will have will be Okay? And then the second characteristic is the verb itself. It could be verb one, verb two, or maybe verb three. Okay, verb one, for example, go, goes, stay, stays, watch, watches. And then in a verb two, for example, you have when. Okay, and then we have stayed. Okay, saw, yeah, and then uh, verb three also from the verb go, went, and then we have gone, and then verb three also, okay, from the word stay, still the same, stay it, like in the verb two. Okay, so for the verb two and verb three, there are regular and irregular form for. Irregular form you have to memorize, okay. And then for the regular ones, it must be with ed ending, okay. All right. But be aware of the past participle. So for three could be past participle, but don't worry. We are going to discuss it later about the past participle. Alright, and then the third characteristic is model. For example, can, may, must, could, would, might, etc. Okay, alright. Okay, now let's directly come to the example. Okay, example number one the new computer program has provided a variety of helpful application now let's see from the characteristic that you have learned now which one that shows a verb of a sentence okay so it comes after the subject there okay that is has right so we have has has provided this is the verb of a sentence Okay, now let's see the second example The papers in the basket should be emptied into the test can outside Which one is the verb of the sentence? Look at once again the characteristic Okay, so what do we have here? Right, so we have suit Okay so the verb is should be added right and then let's directly come to the third example the new machine processes 50 percent more than the previous machine okay which one is the verb of this sentence well so you see here processes like the example above that is first verb or verb one from the word go become goes or watch become watches so here we have the verb processes right okay 
Now, let's see the fourth example. In the past, a career in politics was not considered acceptable in some circles. Okay, so what is the verb of this sentence? Yes, what do we have? We have B, was. Was not considered is the verb. So we have the to be in the past there. Was, right? Okay, now the last example that is number five. The progressive reading methods at this school are not given credit for the improved test scores. Okay, can you see the verb of this sentence or the predicate of this sentence? What do we have here? Okay, right. So we have are. That is the B in the present. Are given is the verb of this sentence. Well, so now you have been able to recognize the verb of the sentence, right? Alright, and for the next video, we are going to have the subject and verb agreement. Please wait our video and don't forget to subscribe and share this video, okay? Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. See you.